You know when Miss Lipstick called Miss Haydock a brat? I don't remember that. Yeah, in the staff room. I think you must have misheard. No, I didn't. They were arguing right next to you. Yeah, I still think you misheard. When Mum comes home, I'm going to behave myself all the time. Emily, it's good to stay positive, and I know that everyone's doing all they can to help your mum, but you can't be absolutely sure that she will come home right away. I just don't want you to be disappointed, that's all. It'll be all right, Lindsay said. Miss James, do I need to remind you that you're still under oath? If we discover that you're not telling the truth... I'm going to tell you the truth. I'll tell you the truth right now if you'll listen. That morning, he'd arranged a trip for me and my mum. A shopping trip. He said we deserved it. But I knew what he was planning. He wanted him alone. Lindsay, don't. Please, tell her to stop. My mum was upstairs with Em. I went into the living room and I told him I was not leaving my little sister with him. He said it was my fault. That if I'd been nicer to him, he wouldn't need him. So what happened then? I tried to hit him, but he pushed me away. He shouted at me. He said it wouldn't just be me who got it. If I kept making a fuss, my mum would get it too. I said I'd tell her about us, but he said she wouldn't believe me. So, you told your mum? No. I went into the kitchen, and I picked up a knife. And when he came in, I stabbed him. Lindsay, no! God, no! Mrs. James! I killed him. And I'm glad he deserved it. Please, she's just making it up. She just wants to help me. Lindsay! <laughs> I just want my Mr. money. Stay I just want my one without a clue. OK, stop it. She's going to cry if you don't shut up. Do you want to cry, miss? Do you want to go home to your mum, tell her what a bad day at school you've had? 